Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel, and today we're playing Democracy Free, where we are playing as a religious crazy gun nut and try to assume direct control of this country and turn it into a police state. And currently we're trying to actually uh, be more popular with our voters, because we are not very popular. Uh, we kind of need to get over 50% here. We were at 30%, went down to 20 now, and we need that, you know, so we can continue our epic quest of... Um, staying in office and, you know, establish our dream of the perfect Canadian country. Well, the perfect Canada, not Canadian country. Canada is a country weasel. Fine. Let's implement some policies. Let's have a look. We need, we need something to make people, uh, you know, like that's popular with borders that helps. Or, uh, uh get, oh, hybrid car initiative. Popularity with voters 79. It should also reduce pollution, which is a big problem. So yeah, totally gonna implement that Reduces the all demand and everyone's happy. I Don't see a downside to this actually other than the all demand goes down Yeah, let's implement that. Are you kidding me? That's a great deal. It's a great deal We should also have a look at Texas, you know um, Tobacco tax is already really high. I remember. Yes, it is uh, petrol tax, uh, ooh. Yeah, nobody cares about the environmentalists here, for now. We should put something into, uh, health, healthcare, I feel. Make people more happy. Faith school subsidies, ooh. We're having faith school subsidies, we're paying for religion. I did not set that up, but I'm, I'm not sure that Canada has something like faith school subsidies. Um, school prayers. Oh, look at that. On parents' requests. Twice daily. Wow. Twice daily. I can have two school prayers per day. Holy frig. Yeah. And it will increase the religious membership, which we kind of want to do because, you know, if we are a religious crazy country, then we better have more people, more religious people so that they will vote for us, you know, it doesn't help that we make religious people happy if we don't have enough people here, so um, Yeah, Ooh, the technology grants they make they make them ha Ooh, Interesting Interesting Well We could cancel the technology grants, but that really hurts the GDP to be honest that kind of sucks Hmm well, we're not gonna change that for now. I kind of want to go with more technology. Kind of have to look for the GDP, but for now we're just gonna jump into the next one so we have a little bit more capital and hope we don't get killed. That would be great. All right, technological advantage? Really? How did we do that? Interesting. Athlete wins gold medal. That makes Patriots super happy. Yay! I like it when Patriots are happy. 26%, yes! Yes, we, we went up a little bit. It's it still it still sucks, but it's it's a start. You can't have big changes in a quarter. Credit rating upgraded. We are now B B B. We want to get to A A A triple A rating. That would be really nice. All right. Um, creationism versus evolution. Oh, this does it. Uh, I can't do much about that. Technology tax shelters does it. The trick. Cool. Um, science funding. Hmm. I don't feel bad. Hmm. Science funding. We should we should fund that a lot. I feel. But for now, we kind of want school prayers. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. School prayers. I want them twice daily. Definitely two school prayers per day. Keeps the devil away. Apply changes. There we go. I wish I could I could make them pray for me, you know, like for the glorious leader Actually, I'm not a leader. I don't think I'm like a, a one person. I think I'm like the whole party in a way um, But I'm not sure actually it doesn't say anything about me in this one, which is fine So how are people doing? Oh, he's super happy Farmer and religious super happy liberals super happy. Um, what about her? Enver environmentalists and state employees, of course she's not happy. Trade unionists, farmers, religious capitalists. 
Why is she unhappy? Oh no, she's she's still loyal. Patriots, capitalists. Why is she? I don't understand. I don't understand. Whatever. Let's have a look at religious people for now. Membership that should happen soon. Gambling, gambling. I, I think they're happy enough for now. We don't have to do anything about that. Patriots are super happy. Oh wow! Look at that. They're super super happy. Um, I think it's time. It's time to have a look at our military spending. Oh yeah, we can raise it with our thing. It's expensive. It's expensive, but it will reduce unemployment. Um, patriots are going to be happy, and we will have more state employees. Um, I don't understand why it lowers the state employees' income, but not really sure what I can do about that. But we will going. We're going to have an overwhelming military force. Yeah, who is the biggest dick? The U.S. or Canada? Gonna make sure Canada has the biggest one. Very important. Very important. Absolutely important. All right. Okay. No capital left anymore. Nothing I can do about that. And we're gonna jump into the next quarter. Okie dokie. The GDP is going down. Not good. Unemployment is going down. That's good. Probably because of the increased spending. The experts in the intelligence services have expressed concern about the warriors of Gaia, an extremist environmentalist organization that might represent a serious threat to government. Ooh. Not good. Ooh. 44% of vote in an election. That's, that's, that's great. Consider it, like, I mean, it's not over 50%, but we're getting closer. Um, the opposition party has more members than us. We kind of have to work on that. Uh, is in recession, so that's why it's going down. All right, we're going to allow drilling. All companies are keen to get permission to drill. Allow drilling are literally billions of barrels of oil right here under our soil. Current laws preventing us from drilling it. Instead, we're importing oil from other countries. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna allow drilling. Definitely. Screw the environment. We need oil. Absolutely, absolutely. And even if we don't need oil, we can sell it to the US and have a shit ton of money. It's great, it's great. All right, what is that, by the way? Citizenship tests, oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make sure that our patriots are happy. Ooh, with that I can increase the patriot membership. I would like that. Um, What about the religious people, the membership? Uh, 29% membership, not going up. Not going up. Oh, school prayers take a little bit to kick in. Um, they have a delay of one. And what else is there? Um, faith school subsidies. Ooh, look at that. That is one sexy slider. We can get all the religious people. Okay, okay. This, this, this will work, guys. This will work. We will control all of them. It's great. Okay, but we need more capital for that, so can't do my, can't do that now. And I kind of want to make sure that we are a little bit more, you know, um, that we are a little bit more popular with the common voter. Organic farming subsidies. Supporters of organic farming say the state should subsidize this method of farming because of the perceived health benefits of food without artificial flavorings and additives. Naturally, this is popular with farmers, environmentalists, but some people see it as a pointless distortion. Um, it's not too expensive, and I remember that making farmers happy would be a good thing, and it's popular with voters. Um, and, you know, shouldn't do have too much of a big... Yeah, capitalists don't like it, but if I can, you know, make the environment a little bit happy, and farmers especially, that's a good thing. Yeah, more farmers, that's good. They're more liberal, usually. They're conservative, not liberal, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's maximum, let's do that. And we're gonna jump into the next quarter because I can't do much anymore. Or can I? Oh, I can. A tourism ad campaign. Which would increase tourism and foreign relations. You know? And therefore boost the GDP. Increase crime though. Tourism increases crime. That's, that's important to notice. It increases crime. But we do have a really strong police force. So I think we can handle that. So we're gonna implement that as well, using all of our capital. Okay. How are things going? Credit rating upgraded. We are no A. That's great. We're making progress here. Uh, we are in a recession. Our GDP is still like bouncing around, so that that's making me happy to see. Um, crime is still going down. 
Uh, it's great, it's at an all-time low now. Uh, still a deficit, not happy, but just a little bit, that's fine. Been in worse situations there, and we would get 50% of the votes. We made it to 49%, 0.5% of the votes. That's great, that's great, great, great. Conservative peoples are happy. What could we? What else could we do to make them happy? Membership, handgun laws. Oh, interesting. Race discrimination, violent crimes. Oh, we do have violent crimes. No, we don't. We don't have violent crimes. That's uh, those are non-existent anymore. So why is that an issue? Interesting. Very interesting. All right. So we still have alcohol abuse. I'm kind of surprised by that. Um. I guess because of all that unemployment and poverty. I guess that's a good reason. Um, what could we do? State school, state health services. State health services are bringing that one down. Why? Unemployment. Although many citizens would be happy to pay privately for their own health treatment, there's an argument that the state has a duty to provide a minimum level of free health treatment. Um, so unemployment goes up if I increase um, the state health service. Intriguing. Intriguing. I don't fully understand how that happens. How does unemployment go up? Oh, I, don't I really don't understand that logic. That's kind of odd. And private health care is not happy about it anyway. State employees. Eh, we're not going to touch that for now. We're going to see if we can implement a few good policies that we will need. For example, something with law and order like police drones. Oh yeah, police drones, but nope, we're not doing that. We are going to, ooh, flags on every street corner. That would make the Patriots really happy. I'm pretty sure about that. Pretty sure about that. But faith school subsidies. We kind of want to make sure that we have more religious members. So we're going to improve that, uh, raise that. I can't raise it. Damn it, it needs 28. Okay, I'm just going to jump into the next quarter. Let's have a quick look at our ministers. Ah, why are they so unhappy? Trade unionists, farmers. I don't get a lot. I get 17 per turn. That's bad. It's really low capital. I can't do a lot here. Ooh, we captured the terrorists. Some of our brave soldiers fighting abroad have located and captured some terrorists who were planning an attack against us. This is a great day for the security and freedom of our Canadian country. Of Canada, not Canadian country. I guess Canada is a Canadian country, the only one, but still. Uh, Patriot membership, 1% point, and that's great. That's great. We need those things. 65% of the votes. Yes, we are successful. We will be voted again. Great, 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 great. Let's have a look at the election report. Wow, look at this. We got a lot of members in the last, you know, time. And a lot of activists. That's great. We need more members to boost our voter turnout. Um, but it's great that we have a lot of activists. That should do... That should that should really help out. That should really help out. Great. Faith school subsidies. Give all the money to faith schools. Yes, because we need a lot of strong religious people that don't think straight and will just vote for me. Pretty much. All right. So we only have six capital left. Let's have a look if we can change a few things here. Let's have a look. Uh, road building. Actually, I want to have a look at the expenses right now. Look if we can do something. State pensions. Oh, okay. Those are quite high, but that's normal. Military spending is quite high. State health service is quite high. State schools. Debt interest. Ooh, the debt interest is quite high. Child benefit. Police force. Alcohol abuse. What? Alcohol abuse costs us so much money? Wow. Well, state health service is really expensive. Currently, we're doing some prevention. We could reduce it, you know, to like all major operations or serious illnesses. Um, you know, excellent health service. Let's have a look at health. What else does it improve that? Because I remember that being a problem. Pollution is a really big problem. Pollution is making people sick. It's going down, but we have to do more. We do have to do more. Car usage. Okay, okay, okay. Can we reduce the car usage? In Canada. Where you have to drive a lot to get anywhere. How many motorists do we have? 
68%. That's a lot of people that I really don't want to make unhappy. So I'm not touching that. I will just touch that with, you know, some tweezers and gloves. That's 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 dangerous. Let's let's go another turn. Let's have some political capital and see how things are panning out right now. Okay, homelessness. It's now at an end. That is great. We no longer have a problem with homelessness and people sleeping in our streets. This will cheer up the more liberal citizens, socialists, and of course, poorer members of our society. Good. Bad animal testing. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Um, we are going to ban it. Yes. That has nothing to do with having a crazy, uh, kind of crazy religious state. We're still going to ban that. Oh, 72%. People are getting happy. Look at that. Look at that. We are getting into a position where we can do all the crazy things. That's awesome. Okay. For now, I'm really not happy with my government, but I'm not touching that because that is making people as happy as well. We might, you know, just kick them all off after the election and just get a fresh new government with a lot of capital. But for now, we made patriots really happy. Like... Like, they're 100% of the population are patriots. And they are super happy. So pretty much everyone is fanatically supportive. And highly trusting. That is great. That is great. 100% of the people are fanatically supportive. I think... I think we're on a good way here. To take over the world. <laughs> That's my master plan now. Take over the friggin' world. Let's have a look at policies. Law and order. Um... Okay, flags on every street corner, police drones. I think... I think it's time for police drones, you know. I don't see anything wrong with that. Liberals are not very happy with that. Who cares about you? Crime goes down, violent crime goes down, and organized crime goes down. Not that crime is any problem at all, but we're still gonna have police drones. Because they're awesome! They're awesome! Screw your privacy, we can fire a friggin' Scud rocket in your bum when you are acting up. We will nuke people that park on disabled spots. You know, these drones, because there's no crime, we will just let them fly around. And whenever they see someone standing in a disabled spot, we will just nuke them. We will make that legal by law. Alright, Race Discrimination Act, uh, we can have that, that's good. Let's have a quick look at policies. Um, yeah, the liberals are not very happy, but they only make up 61%, so... So, handgun laws. Violent crime. Race Discrimination Act. It's not expensive, you know. I kind of want to keep it in for now. It's not too expensive. Come on. Yes. No. No, don't con revert changes. Close. Sorry. Here we go. What is this? Foreign aid. Right, I remember. Patriots are not happy about that, but they are totally supportive, so we're gonna keep that in. Um... Yeah. We are very popular. That's good. The wealthy. I think we're gonna do something about the pollution now. Um, I can't do much about the alcohol abuse. That's just going to down by itself. It'll just take some time. Alcoholism is not something that's treated fast. That's something that needs time. Change needs to happen. So, pollution is having a bad effect on the health. So, what plays into the environment? Air travel, car usage, tourism, and... Oh, wait, no. The GDP. Yeah. All right. So, car usage. Let's have a quick look at car usage. How could we reduce that? By implementing policies, uh, transport policies. For example, fuel efficiency standards, carpooling campaigns, bicycle subsidies. Really? Look at that! 1% of people would like a bicycle subsidy. Really? Only 1% of people. Canadians really don't want bicycles. They don't like their bicycles. What was a cycling campaign? Wow. Well, the telecommunity uh, commuting initiative is really popular, so we might just you know implement that one so people save you know they they're working from home. Um, why not? Let's do that. 
Maximum. Bam. Um, reduces commuters, membership, and reduces car usage. That's a start. That's a start. Anything else we can do? Um, <laughs> cycling campaigns, you know? First of all, let's make the bikes cheaper, and then we're gonna uh, do that. Actually, car usage, rail usage, and bus usage goes down and health goes up. See, this is one of these policies that I would just recommend to anyone who's playing, you know? Just throw in some friggin' like, bicycle subsidies. They're not super expensive, and it has a positive effect in general, you know? You don't make anyone upset by reducing the car usage and rail usage and, you know, and just making them more healthy. So that's a great thing. I can even, you know, I can even start a cycling campaign as well because they they don't need a lot of political capital. That's great. That's great. So we have crazy patriotic religious people that are biking a lot. I like that. Our biking army of crazy people. Canada is going to the right direction into a glorious age. I could call it the Weasel Age. And we're gonna be there soon. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Democracy Free. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.